Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough. We're going on Operation Goldhammer. It's a cancel mission where we need to rescue a VIP from an advent vehicle, and uh, we're gonna get some nice rewards the scientist and 90 intel. But we're taking Kelly Brown, our specialist, Sarah Klein, our other specialist, the two specialists on this mission. Of course, Heidi Hagen is uh, bound to be our first major, so uh, we're leveling her up quite nicely. Then we have Lena Bauer, our uh, one and only Templar. Then Jacqueline Morel, the original J Grenadier, is back. And then we have, have Elena Castro, I think her name is, uh, our, well, squaddy sharpshooter. We're going to see if we can level her up a bit as well. So here we go. And there we go. And I think it's, uh, by the way, Christina Castro. Oh, it's completely off with Elena. We have a, an Elena and a Yelena. So <laughs> I'm a bit confused. for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay, so this seems pretty straightforward. Picking up the VIP along the way. And then going for the extraction point. We have 12 turns though. So that is going to be interesting. I don't think I have the uh, the benefit active where we only, you know, start the, the timer once we get revealed. Uh, so if we... Well, we're going to see that in a minute. If the timer goes up, then we're not... We're not dealing with that. Uh, so I'll move up and I'll see you guys in a second once anything happens. Okay, and we spot a muton and a sectoid on the other roof over here. So still doesn't seem to have leveled up too much. So we should be able to deal with that. So four overwatches and two people I've uh, pushed forward. Jacqueline and Christina. So Christina is now on the roof. Adjacent to the sectoid and the muton. So I think that we might actually be able to start fighting because the turns are actually going down. Um, I am actually... Get, ooh, wow. Yeah, I think the radius must have been increased because of the uh, dark event because this is interesting. Let's see. So Christina is all the way up there. So if she gets a shot off, she has a 100% shot on the sectoid actually. And a 98% on the muton. But if I can take out the sectoid, that's experience for her. So 7 and 9, and the sectoid has 8. So we need to split the difference there. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. Lamo. Ooh, 12. 12. And we get a, an ability point from an ambush kill. And we're all revealed, of course. That's not too bad. Sectoid goes down, which is actually pretty okay. Because um, we have, of course, a running gun. So if he wants, we can just take it out in one go. While still being in good cover. Can we move Jacqueline over to a position where she can actually hit him? Because this looks interesting, but I don't know if she's going to see anything from there. We'll see. If she doesn't, she doesn't. But she's in a really good position after that. She's also one of the only people that doesn't have an upgraded weapon just yet. So uh, if I can do this, I don't see anything else and I can still fire at him. 55% because he's technically still in cover. That is interesting, but uh, here we go. 50-50. That sounded like a hit. Yeah, 3 damage and Jacqueline is almost falling off the roof. But that's of course no, um, no shredding. So I think we might as well toss a grenade over there. Because if I can take out that cover as well, that would be nice. So if I move her over here. Into the building. Smash some glass. Move up while we're doing it. And then a grenade. On the corner of this. I hope that doesn't remove the, the ceiling. Because otherwise I think I might have just killed Jacqueline. But... There we go, that's one shred. He's not really visible anymore. Ah, okay. He is visible to Kelly. Kelly might actually be able to kill him off. So if I put Kelly over there. Moving everybody still up. That's 73%. It's not great. But I might as well try it out. And that's a hit. There we go. We killed him and he dropped loot. Yeah, he dropped loot. Um, so let's move Heidi up as well. And Lena can follow suit. Uh, she doesn't really have any good cover anymore. But with Ren, she actually has more movement than anybody else. So 
Might as well just leave it on the corner of the building here. One more overwatch shot just in case. Oh, and I need to be careful because the building is breaking down. So Jacqueline needs to move down as quickly as possible. Um, first things first, let's have Christina move up. Is she... Ooh, that's not even cover. I think I'm going to put her over here in the corner. She should get side on most of the area down below. And she apparently doesn't see anything. That means Jacqueline. Jacqueline can move down. Can I get her? Yes, I can. I, hmm. But maybe I should stop her in the uh, area of the loot. So we grab that on the way. The civilian's running away, but... There we go. Loot, an Illyrium core, always nice, and an advanced stock. Um, and then, I'm actually worrying about Christina now. Because she's uh, she doesn't have any ground coverage anymore, so I'm just going to put her uh, over here. If I trigger anything, I trigger any something, but uh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good, so let's move everybody else up, and I'll see you in a second when anything changes. It is way too quiet. But uh, we're moving up. We still have a bunch of turns left. So don't see a problem immediately. But that was only one batch of enemies. We still have at least two that are waiting for us. I put Lena on top of this roof, roof so she could get this, uh, this bit of energy. And I think if I move her straight, we shouldn't really trigger anything, I hope. And otherwise, we'll deal with it. So there we go. One focus for free, because she pulled that from the sectoid, okay. That means I think I'm going to put... Ah, Christina can't move to the roof because Jacqueline is still in the way. So I'm just going to put Jacqueline uh, into full cover in a gas station. That doesn't seem nice, right? How far does this go? This goes actually quite a while. This quite goes pretty far out. But we still need to focus on our objective here. So if you move through the building... Yeah, that's doable indeed. That is doable indeed. Okay. Nothing there just yet. I'm going to push Christina up towards the rooftop and put her over here. That don't think she will trigger anything from over there. There we go. That's a leap of fate from two stories high. But uh, apparently she doesn't really care. There we go. And then Heidi can move up along with everybody else. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, oh no, we didn't trigger anything, but I think we just got sight of something. Where... Where would that be? The music started, but... I would think that means we have sight on a few aliens. But I, I don't see any. I don't see any. So, yeah, I think we're fine for now, but that means that Heidi is really on the edge there, apparently. Uh, so I'm just going to put most of these guys on Overwatch. Uh, unless on I might be able to hack the tower over there. And I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to take a look. Reduce enemy will by 50% or soldier gains complete immunity from the next two attacks. I don't really care about either of those. So let's cancel the hack for now. We're right next to the, the VIP. So... Oh, maybe Sarah saw something? Yeah, there we go. Serve our purposes nicely, if it can be disabled. Okay, but that's a bit of a problem. Because most of our soldiers now have moved. Does Christina see anything? She sees one of them. The purifier, even. Um, Might as well give it a shot. No, no pun intended. Because if we can finish him off, then Lena can... No, Lena should not rend. Lena should not rend the purifier. He's gonna blow up. But, fire sniper rifle, here we go. If we get a critical... We got a critical! Um, he's dead and he didn't explode from a height advantage. That was really, really nice. Uh, I'm just short of hitting this guy with the swords. Uh, and who has a skill jack, by the way? I think one of the hackers has a skill jack. Yeah, Sarah has a skill jack. But of course, the officer is still pretty bunkered in. Uh, and it doesn't seem like I even have a shot at any of those. But I do have Volt or Amplify. Stun Strike. Hmm. That also looks really cool, by the way, Stun Strike. But I think Volt is going to be the best. 
And we got a bit of damage out of that, but let's see what we can do with everybody else. We have... Haha! Maybe a grenade from Jacqueline to remove the cover. I'm not going to be able to skull jack him, I think. I'm too far away. Um, and yeah, he's just going to generally be better equipped to... Uh, because we need to weaken him first, and I don't think we'll be able to. But let's get rid of his cover anyway. Uh, maybe like this, so I don't hit. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this, maybe? That doesn't destroy that little batch of cover over there. Yeah, like this. So, grenade. Like that. Take out his cover and do three damage. Leaving the officer out in the open. Sarah, uh, Kelly actually has a shot of 77%, but that won't kill him. Uh, but she can't move anymore, so I need to do it from over there if I want to. The trooper I can actually probably run and gun. I uh, might do that first, actually. So let's run and gun. Go over here into full cover. And hopefully not trigger anything else. It doesn't sound like it, so that's a 100% shot on the trooper. Goodbye. Goodbye. 13 damage. Critical shot. We've done three criticals already. And now we're implacable, so we can actually just... Uh, wait, what does that mean? I can move again, right? I can move again. I'm just going to keep it over there for now. Uh, yeah, Sarah is too far away to skill Jack, so I think we're going to have to just fire at him. Um, I could vault even. But let's just try the normal shots. So Jacqueline, duck, and another critical. That's four criticals. Damn, ladies. Damn. Um, I think I'm going to move up to the truck, but not yet into it. Because I want to avoid triggering anything else. If I put it over there, she's covered. And then the magnetic rifle on Overwatch. And Lena, even with her pistol, Overwatch. And then. We might get incoming... With a dropship, but for now it seems pretty quiet. It did take a while, so there's definitely still something roaming the map. But, Heidi. Um, is it just, do I just need to... Oh wait, this thing has a back, right? Yeah, this thing has a back, so I need to open it up through the back, I think? If I recall this correctly. So we go over here. Yeah, and then we can... Oh, we need to hack the door. Wait, 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 wait. We have people that can hack. We have people that can hack. Uh, can you hack the door by any chance? Oh, we can. We can just hack the door from here. But I'm going to move her up first. Hopefully not blocking her uh, sight on that thing. Let's just put her right next to the car. Absolutely. Very safe. Right next to a possibly exploding car. But then we can hack the door. And that might actually upgrade her uh, hacking skill as well. There we go. Very loud noises. Delays the current dark event projects by two weeks. Or Avenger scanning times again reduced by 50%. I'm going to try the 65. And we got it. Yes. That's very nice. That's two months in a row that we can actually do uh, double the scanning. Which is really, really nice. Thank yous. Kelly, Kelly, I was about to say Sarah, but it's Kelly. Open up, open up the door. Got the VIP in tow. Moving to evac. Menace one five status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Is the VIP still alive? He clearly is. So we just need to move him to the extraction point. If I can control him, yeah. I can. So let's put him over here for now. Because I think it's Andrea Roberti. That actually, Andrea is usually a woman's name, but... Seems like a man. It can also work for a man. I'm not judging. Oh, crap. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. I just put Christina on the truck because I thought everybody is pretty much on that position anyway. But now, we have more trouble. And she's wide out in the open. Since we can still see all three of them, Christina might be dead. Uh, Jacqueline, your flashbang is going to have to save the day. I think I'm going to flash both Vipers. I know this thing is probably dangerous as well. But I can't get both Vipers. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab both Vipers with the flash. There we go. 
Because they could technically pull uh, Christina down. And if, well, if they do that, we're pretty much boned. So there we go. Then Andrea should probably pull back so he doesn't get killed. We want to save our scientist here. Then Heidi onto Overwatch. I think basically everybody else on Overwatch, right? Because I can't do anything else. Because even combat protocol doesn't work at this time. No. So uh, Overwatch it is. And maybe... I might even pull Lena back again. Because she doesn't have a good position. Although... I can put it over here. That is full cover. Let's put it over there. Get her a little bit closer. And that's it. So this guy can move wherever he wants to. But we get an overwatch shot on the swarm. That misses. But I'm wondering if that always misses. Oh god. He's right next to Christina. Shadowbound. Uh, what the actual fuck did, does that do? Uh, that was a miss, right? Yeah. I don't know what that does. It just made a, a green copy of Christina. And then this guy just buggers off again. <laughs> okay. Uh, what does Shadowbound do? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Oh, this is getting interesting. Now, Shadowbound, what the hell does that even mean? Does that mean that I need to kill that thing before I get... I am confused. So this thing is easily killable if I want to. But of course, there's also the two Vipers and... This thing. It has 8 health points. So if I can kill it with Lena. Like this. You will pay the price. That would be nice. So 7 to 8. So we have a 50-50% shot. And there we go. Critical. Does that give us Christina back? Yeah, it does. She's waking up. Okay, and then we parry. Put it wide out in the open and parry. Then, Kelly. Kelly might actually have a shot at the uh, the nano swarm. I still, okay, is that a phantom or what is it called? Fire at it. Um, that is a specter. Well, I, I was pretty much right on the, the money there. Christina has a shot on the viper down there. She doesn't seem to be suffering any negative effects from that uh, shadow bound thingy. An 88% is pretty nice, so here we go. Oh, and that just doesn't kill it. That's 7 damage on the Viper downstairs. So, I think the rest of our focus should go to the Spectre. So, let's let it rip. That doesn't sound like a hit. No, that was an 85% miss. Yes. Um, so, I... With Kelly, I can actually give another action to Heidi. So I think Heidi can actually kill the Spectre. So, fire at it, 100%. If you get another critical, I might actually kill it in one go. No, 12. 12. If Jacqueline would have hit, it would have been dead. But we also have Sarah over here. But I think Sarah is going to have to... Yeah, Sarah is going to have to deal with the... Uh, the spawning dudes. So, Kelly gets another Together action. So, some teamwork. And then Heidi can actually finish this off. I'm half. I'm gonna have to reload next time, but that's not too bad. So, here we go. And another critical. Damn, son. That is. Oh, and I have Implacable, but I, sadly, sadly, I can't reload with Implacable. Um, where's, where are they going to spawn? There they are going to spawn. So if I just put her on this side of the truck again, we might be, we might have a few options. That's what I wanted to say. We might have a few options. And then Sarah is going to have to go over here and just go into Overwatch. Like this. And then Andrea should, should just go hide. Um, 
We're pretty close to the evac point and he, he can actually move quite a bit. So I'm just going to put him completely out of sight inside of the building. Yeah, inside the building. There we go. Okay. We're still alive. Nothing happened. We only got shadow bound. And there comes the dropship with possibly three more enemies. Yeah, that's I saw three. Okay, another trooper, officer, and purifier. I'm gonna have to be careful because if we kill the purifier with an Overwatch shot, troops here. he might explode. Disorientation <laughs> removed. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, the Vipers are awake. The Vipers are awake, and Sarah wakes up. Ooh, and kills the officer in one hit. Okay, he drops. Yeah, he's he's down. And she got a promotion from that as well. So now we just need to keep them alive. Because the Vipers still have a, a move. Oh god. Are they going to grab you? Poisoned. Poison is fine. Uh oh, but we have parry. We have parry. We have parry. There we go. That even parries the tongue. Grab failed. And then the purifier, they can't do anything, right? No. We do get poison on Jacqueline, but that's not too bad. If I can say that about my own troops being poisoned. I think that's fine. It's only one damage per turn. Um, and I think we have pretty good positions to take everybody out now. You know what? That's 78, was it? 78. Might as well give it a shot. I'm supposing I'm going to kill everything else and otherwise Christina is wide out in the open, but fuck it. Here we go. Pistol shot. Goodbye, Viper. That's one. I should have reloaded first. That was not my best move, but uh, Heidi. Heidi. Heidi still needs to reload, right? Yeah, so Heidi is probably limited to a sword strike, sadly. So let's reload and then... Give it a give it a go. Give it a go with the sword. It's the only one we can actually hit. 100% with a 10% critical chance. That's not a lot, is it? Sarah could finish it off afterwards, but I want to kill those guys upstairs as well. We have pretty bad shots at the purifier. But if I hit him, I kill him. Hmm. And I think with Lena, we might actually be able to finish this off. So let's try Heidi with the swords. Because Heidi has enough experience for now. So, oh, there we go. And then from cover. And slash. That was only five damage. Only five damage. Not that bad. We could use Lena to finish it off, but I feel like we have a better use for her. Let's finish it off with Jacqueline. Jacqueline needs to move out of the poison anyway. Like this. And then fire at... Ooh, 59. Is that because you're poisoned? Yeah, that must be because you're poisoned. Because your shot percentages are really bad. But let's try it anyway. Oh, and it was a dodge. Still one damage. Okay. Okay. Okay, Lena can definitely kill the Viper, but can she get up there and... Oh yeah, we can get up there. How much damage does Ren do? 8 and 9. So that's a guaranteed kill on the Trooper, actually. Yeah, oh, right over here. So that's 8, right? Yeah. 8 on the Trooper. Feel the power of the Templars. Yes, feel the power of the Templars. Because she's going to slice and dice. Ooh, that's definitely going to be a screenshot. Um, and that gives her parry again. And parry right next to the purifier. So if we don't manage to kill the purifier, then it's not even that bad. The Viper has 67 right from here. And if we put her... Because I'm definitely going to kill the Viper, right? So if we put Kelly over here... Oh, I actually have a... Why is that a flank shot? That's a flank shot. It doesn't seem like a flank shot to me, because there's like a really tiny gap where she can shoot him. But uh, 73 on the Viper. There we go. And we miss again. Yes, indeed. So that means that the Purifier is going to live. 
but I'm hoping he's gonna go for Lena, because Lena is closest. Frame rate is dying a little bit again, but uh, there we have Sarah with a flank shot now, and I don't know, yeah, those civilians are running away. 81%. Kill that freaking thing, please. There we go. He dodged it again. Ah, oh, damn. And then I should probably put the... We have five more turns, so I think we're fine. Um, although I should probably put him away from... No, let's just stay here. I don't think he actually knows where I am. Maybe over here in the cover. And then hunker down. There we go. So now I'm hoping the purifier goes for Lena. I think he does. Yeah, he definitely does. But the parry should even block that. <laughs> they would try to shake my confidence. Uh, go dangerous. Is, isn't isn't your confidence a little bit shaken, Lena? Because I mean, you're on fire and all. Jacqueline is still poisoned, by the way. Probably should heal her now as fast as possible. Sarah's pretty close to the purifier, but oh god, yeah. If I move, I'm on fire. So, but if I don't move, I probably drop down as well. So. I'm literally on a tile of fire, but not not yet burning, so to speak. So I'm just gonna put her over here and give it a shot with, uh, yeah, with Volt. I stop the flames. That's not bad. I can actually heal her probably to so heal an injured ally. So that probably removes the burn, I suppose, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do that. So there we go. Move that up. Heal. And that gets rid of the burn? Yeah, okay. Lena's no longer burning. Now, the biggest problem here is... I could rend him and kill him like that, but if he explodes, then Lena explodes with him. So Volt is gonna have to do... I don't know what Stun Strike actually does. I could try it. Knock an enemy back. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Volt. Volt looks cool. Ooh, one damage short. Okay, but I think Jacqueline might be able to, to finish that off then. So if we use the Gremlin heal on Jacqueline. Give him a heal. So we get rid of the poison and the damage. There we go. Clean, healed, no longer poisoned. And I can even fire again if I want to. But Christina actually has a pistol shot. It's only 38 though. Uh, let's reload first this time. Can I? That's not gonna do it, right? That's not gonna do it, but let's find a pistol. You know. <laughs> okay, you know, I missed a, an 85% shot. That's only fair that I then hit a 38% shot. So uh, that means I think that that's all the aliens. So I should probably move up the, uh, the VIP. And there we go. Evacuation is complete with Andrea going last. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There we go. 12 enemies killed, 11 turns taken, and only one soldier got wounded. That was Jacqueline with the poison. So uh, there we go. Excellent. Another day, another very strong mission for our Valkyries. And they return home for a well-earned rest. And I think we got some promotions. Sure to be high At least one. Yeah, there's two, actually. Work, so uh, basically everybody is tired now. I was assuming that... Uh, ooh, bond level up available. Between Kelly and Heidi, that would be nice. Uh, but then Jacqueline, of course, two days wounded. But everybody else is tired, aside from Sarah and Christina. Because Christina was on her first mission, that seems fine. But she had four kills, which is nice. Upgrade for Sarah. Covering fire. Overwatch shots can now be triggered by any enemy action, not just movement. Or threat assessment. Eight protocol now grants the target a covering fire overwatch shot. But the eight protocol cooldown is increased by one turn. Um, maybe just covering fire then. They're both not really interesting, but uh, let's just go with covering fire. And then Christina gets her upgrade to long watch, so allow Overwatch to trigger with squad side. There we go. And then what did we get? Just the Illyrium Core and the advanced stock, because we got a scientist as Another well with some intel. Commander. My expectations were high. There we go. Andrea Roberti. Research time them. decreased by 20%. And there we have another soldier bond upgrade available. They're both tired, I think, so I might as well do this. So improve soldier bond, Heidi and Kelly. 
Here we go. Can improve their bond by training. Will un be unavailable for combat for six days. No problem. Ooh, advanced teamwork. Grant an additional action point to a bond mate. Has two charges per mission shared between bond mates. And dual strike, a combined standard shot attack by this soldier and their bond mate. This shot is a free action for the bond mate. Ooh, that is really, really cool. So you can basically double shot an enemy. That is nice. So last time, actually, uh, since I wanted, needed to exit out of the screen to end the game, I actually got the completion of the covert action to find the assassin stronghold. So we can actually do that next immediately if you want to. And that's probably what I'm going to do. But uh, I need to select another... Although, hunt the chosen assassin part 3 now. We're getting down to the fine details. We know where Conway Naylor goes to lick their wounds. Now we just have to figure out how to get inside of that compound. Okay. This is a risky operation, but we need a major. Okay, so we can't do that just yet. Then I think we're going to start hunting the warlock and move that along a little bit. So we need a sergeant and he will, they will get a promotion. She will get a promotion. A sergeant. Aha. So sergeant or higher. Sarah just leveled up to captain. So if I send her... So that's definitely a promotion. So she's going to go to major immediately. So do the next rank. I think we're, we still have one rank in between that. Um, and then another soldier. Might as well send uh, one of our sharpshooters. We get a bit of extra health. Was it extra health? No, we, did. we don't get anything. So just... Uh, yeah, just put Christina in there. We just use her on a mission, which is fine. Soldier wounded risk is moderate, but we can deal with that. So let's confirm. There we go. And we're done. We don't have anything left but the scan. We still have our supply drop, so we're going to grab that in a minute. Ooh, an alien alloys, and it's all halved. Avengers so we need to gather our supply drop. Course. We're going to get it immediately, basically. Uh, and then we're going to have to start moving on that alien facility next, I think. I'm just going to grab a few more supplies and once we're done with that... There we go. Avatar Project is going to move up. They have another alien facility over there. If we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar Project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. And that's exactly what we're probably going to do next. But I still want the a few of our soldiers back off to that. So I definitely want to... Okay. That was really quickly. Um, so we have... I don't know what this is. Supposed to be covert actions, probably. We can start making contact with those things as well. But uh, since we have halved our scanning times, might as well get the alien alloys in two days. Uh, and once Heidi and uh, Kelly are back from training... Oh, dangerous enemy detected! We've received intel that a powerful, extremely dangerous alien is guarding a nearby advent facility. We should approach with extreme caution. What facility? That one. Okay. So there's only, I think that one over here is guarded by one, and the one over there is guarded by one now. So the one over here shouldn't be guarded, the black side. So let's just continue getting alloys, okay, and that's the exosuit complete, ooh. Ooh, that is nice. Exosuits are really nice. Then experimental heavy weapons are going to be added, because those heavy weapons are attached to the exosuit. Um, I think there's another... Yeah, so now it's doing the Skulljack improvement. So that's fine. Jacqueline Morrell has... Okay, so Jacqueline has uh, recovered, and there's a lot of dead old sectoids. Okay, then next up, I think I'm going to make contact with either New Brazil or New Chile. I think I'm going to start with New Brazil, because that gives us access to Northern America as well. Uh, and live fire training... Any recruits training in the GTS will achieve the rank of sergeant. That's also really good. But let's go to New Brazil. Uh, and it's going to be instant. Is that because we have a radio tower over there? Okay. Let's just make contact then. If that's instant, then I don't really care about that. So, extra region unlocked. And the sound kind of cut out there. But uh, we know how this goes. We just say hi. Hi, people. Okay, so there we go, new available contacts, and we have a way to uh, check up on the Warlock from there. Um, now, 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 Shan actually makes a good point. We don't have any available resources to make more contacts, so what we're going to do, because we still have a lot of intel, we want to make contacts, we're going to start uh, adding another resistance com. Um, I think we can do that over here to the left. 
We still have a little bit of supplies. And we still have a little bit of power as well. So let's just do resistance comms next. Uh, I can... Wait. Oh, that's build facilities. I need to go out of that. Get the... Because everybody's done healing. Nobody's wounded anymore. So I can put the engineer into building the resistance comms. There we go. By 50%. So in eight days, we're going to have an extra resistance comm. Uh, I could technically also start building a workshop. Because uh, over here, we're going to put our next power relay. That's going to be over here in 12 days. So I think we're still good. And we can start, uh, well, continue with uh, the scanning. So we need to bridge four more days if I want to make this happen. I can't make contact anymore because, you know, I could actually build another radio tower over here. But that costs supplies. Yeah, 150 supplies. I can't even do that right now. I can't make contact because the contacts are at their limit. So that means I should probably just go for the Reaper HQ and start scanning there until anybody, anything else pops up. Um, so let's just go to Reaper HQ. That actually there goes were pretty some quickly. Casualties during that last covert action. And Sarah got wounded now. Troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. But she got a promotion, so just let's check that. Intel on the chosen, Commander. Okay, so that's good. Skirmisher influence has increased. So... Um, I think next up, we should probably go for gain ability points. That's gonna take a few days, and it allows us to get some, uh, some extra, well, some extra ability points. So I'm gonna put, uh, Lisbeth and Emily on that mission. So Emily on the extra health, because the ranger can always use extra health. And then we're gonna allocate those 25 intel, because we have plenty of intel left and confirm that covert operation. Then back to scanning for intel, that actually goes really, really quickly, by the way. If you check that, so think, 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 and the training is Ooh, guerrilla operation. But I think our bond, yeah, because we got the trophy for the final bond. So I think the bond actually did that as well. So if I ignore that for now, yeah, bond training is complete, okay. So let's check the guerrilla operations. Three options, East Africa, difficult mission, and we get a ranger. And Sosa, yeah, I don't know if that's a woman or a man, so I don't think I'm going to take that. Increases detection radii of all enemies. Uh, or, in New Brazil, destroy the alien relay, 175 supplies, that's actually a lot. And the Chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. That is definitely something I want to counter. And then South Africa, protect the device, we get a scientist. We just got one of those, so I think we're going to go for New Brazil. So let's move over there. Setting course for Sector 3, Brazil. And then next time after that mission, we're going to go for the alien facility just to uh, move the story along a little bit and hit that alien facility and reduce the avatar project. But Commander, guerrilla operations. So Sarah is wounded, which is why we don't actually have the, uh, the available specialist here. And I don't think we still have Kelly, but Kelly is tired. They're still tired. Oh, because of course that didn't go down because of the training. Um, and Nada was apparently very tired, because even now she's still not available. We could go with Hilda. She's our squaddy specialist. Let's put her there, and then edit her, load her loadout. So I'm gonna use our last supplies to actually buy the Mac Cannon, because we're gonna actually take two heavies with us, two grenadiers with us. So we have... Uh, this is the squad. I think I need to just adjust... Um, so this is gonna be the team, it's a bit of a ragtag bunch, no... Well, we're only 50-50 on veterans here. So we have Hilda Carlson, who's a squaddy specialist we haven't seen yet. And of course, Elena Dragunova, or Reaper. Alessia Sella with her sharpshooting abilities. I gave her the tracer rounds to have more aim, that brings her up to 100 aim actually. And then Jacqueline, we know Jacqueline, our grenadier. Then uh, Christina from last mission, we're gonna take her again. But I gave her the Dragon Rounds instead from Heidi, since Heidi is still tired. And then Marina Ivanova is our squaddy grenadier. So double up on the grenades, because I don't think I have anything else to give her. So that's going to be the squad for next time. But before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And when we get back, we're going to go on Operation Secret Law. So thanks again enormously for watching. See you guys on the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.